All right, guys, what is going on? AEC with you today, and we have another video. So, in today's video, I will be showing you how to control these guys. Yes, servos. Everyone wants to know how do you control these servos and how to actually make it work. So, let's get right into it. All right, so a common question is how do you control these little servos? I mean the damn things are so freaking cheap. This is one and a half dollar layers Metal gears inside Makes cool sounds You can't resist so I bought a couple uh, now. I bought them a long time ago, and uh, I thought this would make a pretty cool video so uh, we are just going to uh, heat up our soldering iron to 330C and that should be ready to melt solder. Now if you hadn't seen uh, a review of this soldering iron and the teardown uh, you can find it down there uh, as well as many other videos. Uh, check it out, it's really really cool. So uh, I have a board like this that I bought off eBay. Now the thing is, this board takes your uh, micro USB power and uh, what it allows you to do is you have two channels, you can control the frequency and the duty cycle of those channels. So that is really, really cool. So what I'm going to do is I will just uh, solder on a connector all right, so I have the two wires on there. All right, so this is our power for our service. So let's talk about how this thing works. So you have three wires on your servo. Uh, in this case, our yellow is our uh, signal. So what this allows us to do is we give power to the servos with, uh, what is it? Red and uh, brown and uh, that is then used to power the motor. Now, the way the servo actually turns is you give it a PWM signal and it actually determines where it should be. Now, it will turn according to the direction that of the PWM signal and uh, what then it, it will do is it has a potentiometer inside which tells the position uh, based on the resistance of the shaft of this output shaft which is then when it reaches a value that the processor is looking for then it stops so by controlling the pwm signal we pretty much have a continuous um yeah a continuous um control of the shaft now that is really really cool so we have this black wire and this white wire which are our um pwm signals so what i will do is i will get those uh, stripped and uh we'll put some solder in there and uh, we'll solder these right on to our connectors for the servo and um, then after that we will solder power uh, to these connectors and uh, pretty much after we uh, have soldered everything in and we adjust the frequency uh, we should all we have to really do is just um, solder well not solder but adjust the frequency to one kilohertz and after that plug in the servo and it should work right off the bat theoretically all right so uh, i heard the servos uh, go i mean move when i hooked up the power and uh, i'm thinking that i finally figured that out uh, the place where i hooked up the board did not actually have uh, anything in there. 
so all right so frequency two one duty cycle two See? Told you we are gonna make it work. Okay, now it doesn't work. That motor got pretty hot, so... There we go, it got seized. So there you guys have it, impossible had been done and things had been fixed and it's now working. So uh, the main thing to remember from this, never give up, uh, keep doing what you're doing, have fun and yeah if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my content and also check other some of my other videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.